Police officer charged with felony child abuse was back in court today. But it's not the first time he has faced some serious allegations. Our Christina Benzels has a closer look at his lengthy record as a police officer. It's more than 100 pages. This is Milwaukee police officer Frank Williams' record during his seven years on duty. The 30 year old is currently charged with felony child abuse, strangulation, and suffocation and has been suspended since January after those allegations. But it's not the first time the officer was under investigation. He was sworn in in 2016. Since then, police records show the officer was suspended seven times. Williams has been investigated for more than 30 misconduct allegations in nearly 20 incidents. Some of those incidents include battery and excessive force, turning off his body camera, keeping a drug house, and making inappropriate sexual comments to women and co-workers. In 2018, records show he was accused of using his position to interfere with an investigation by calling his brother to let police know they were on their way. In March 2023, investigators say his personal car was stolen and later involved in a shootout with MPD officers during a high-speed chase. That's not on his record as misconduct. Investigators say his badge and service weapon were inside. The reports say his service weapon was likely used to fire at officers. At 9 a.m. In Williams' most recent charge, the MPD officer is accused of child abuse. He was arrested in January at his home on the northwest side. Investigators responded to Children's Wisconsin, where a child told them Williams whooped them with the belt because they didn't nap. The child also told investigators Williams at one point choked them and that this was not the first time. Records show the child did suffer bruises. Monday, Williams was back in court where he waived a preliminary hearing and pleaded not guilty. Reporting in Milwaukee, Christina Van Zelst, Fox 6 News. Christina, thank you. Williams hosted bond and is out of custody. He's scheduled to be back in court March 7th.